In this video we're going to look at the sine rule but this time for finding missing angles within a non right angle triangle. So just to recap from the previous video you should know that this triangle does not contain any right angles and we have a very specific labeling system for it. The angles A, B and C all with capital letters are opposite sides A, B and C with lowercase letters and the sine rule comes in two different versions. Now we've already looked at the version where the sides are on the numerator line. We're not interested in that one this time. We're interested in the one where the angles, or more specifically the sine of the angles, are on the numerator line. So this is the version of the formula we're going to be using in today's video. OK, let's have a look at an example. So in this one I'm going to start off by labelling everything up. This angle of 43 degrees here I'm going to call A that means that the corresponding side is up here the 10 centimeters. Angle X, which is what we're trying to find, I'm going to call B and that means that the 7 centimeters opposite becomes side B. Now when I set up my sine rule formula it's going to look like this. Sine of A, which in this case is 43, is over the 10 centimeter side and that's equal to sine of X, which we don't yet know, over 7. Now much like in the previous example, we keep our unknown in the numerator line. This means that I can multiply both sides by 7. So 7 times sine 43 over 10 equals sine of x. Now take care here. When you do this calculation, 7 times sine 43 divided by 10, this won't give you the answer. What this will give you is the sine of your missing angle. So the actual result you'll get is 0 0.477 and then a few things after it. We need to do inverse sine of this value. Now what I would do here is I would use the answer function on your calculator to recall the last answer entered. So if you press inverse sine answer button you will get the same value as me for the missing angle which is 28.5 degrees. OK, let's look at a second example. I'm going to start off much the same way, by labelling everything up. So the 35 degrees angle I'm going to call A, which means that the corresponding side length is the 15 centimetres, let's call that lowercase a. This x is going to become my b, and that means that the 7 centimetre side will become side b. When I set up the sine rule, I'm going to have sine of 35 over 15, equals sine of x over 7. Again, like in the previous example, I keep the unknown on the top. This means I can multiply both sides by 7, giving me 7 sine 35 over 15. And that's equal to the sine of my missing angle. Again, take care. This is not the angle. This is the sine of the angle. When you work this out, you will get a value of 0 0.267 and some bits after it. You're going to need to do inverse sine of this to arrive at your final answer which I make as 15.5 degrees. Here are four examples for you to have a go at yourself. You're going to be applying the sine rule to find these missing angles. Pause the video here to have a go at these yourself. Good luck. When you're ready for some answers, hit play. OK, let's have a look at these then. So when I set up my sine rule, I'm going to have sine 27 over 7 equals sine of x over 5. When I multiply both sides by 5 and then do inverse sine, this is going to give me a value for my missing angle of x as 18.9 degrees. This example over here, when I set up my sine rule, I'm going to have sine 57 over 8 equals sine of the unknown angle x over 6. When I multiply both sides by 6 and take the inverse sine it will give me a value for the missing angle of x as 39.0 degrees. OK, on to the third example. When I set up my sine rule I'm going to have sine 71 over 7 equals 
sine of x over 4. And just like before, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4, take the inverse sign. This is going to give me a value for my missing angle of x as 32.7 degrees. Okay, on to the fourth example. Take care labeling this one because you have some very small acute angles in this triangle which can make it difficult to label it accurately. When I set up my sine rule, I'm going to get sine of 21 over 10 equals sine of x over 6.5. When I multiply both sides by 6.5 and take the inverse sine, it's going to give me a value for x of 13.5 degrees. Well done if you got all four of these correct. I would suggest the next video you look at is the cosine rule. Thanks for listening.